In a fervent plea for justice and liberation, protesters gathered outside the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva, demanding an end to Pakistan's decades-long occupation of parts of Jammu and Kashmir. Political activists from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan voiced their grievances and highlighted the mistreatment and marginalization under Pakistani rule. The demonstrators urged UN to enforce resolutions and facilitate the territory's self-determination. Pakistan occupied parts of the erstwhile princely state of Jammu and Kashmir, including what is now known as Pakistan occupied Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan. The people of POK and Gilgit Baltistan have endured decades of mistreatment, being treated as second class citizens under the forceful occupation of Pakistan since 1948. Both occupied territories are suffering with issues like poverty, unemployment, high inflation and illiteracy. The locals are continuously holding protests against inflation, high wheat prices, inflated electricity bills and many other issues. Even Kashmiris abroad have joined the dissent questioning the intention of Pakistan. Most recently, political activists from Pakistan and Gilgit Baltistan rallied outside the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva. The protest was organized under the auspices of the National Equality Party, Jammu Kashmir, Gilgit Baltistan and Ladakh during the 55th session of the UN Human Rights Council. They demanded Pakistan to vacate its forces from the occupied territories in accordance with the UN Security Council. Here today uh, uh, to raise our voice against the violation of basic human rights uh, in EOJK, Pakistan, and Gilgit, Baltistan. Uh, we are living animals' lives in, in Gilgit, Baltistan, and POJK. We want Pakistan out of uh, uh, POJK and, and Gilgit, Baltistan, as uh, advised by. Uh, the United Nations. So that's the main thing. We are pro protesting outside the United Nations because our people, it is 77th consecutive year of oppression and uh, uh, violation of basic human rights and uh, fundamental uh, absence of fundamental freedoms in POJK and Gilgit Baltistan. So we have come here outside the United Nations to ask the United Nations to implement their resolutions the, the first part of that resolution is that Pakistan must pull out our army and citizens so that people of Jammu Kashmir, people of Gilgit Baltistan and POJK, they can uh, decide about their future. The protesters carried banners reading, why is the UN continuously failing to force Pakistan out of Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan? They condemned Pakistan's actions and questioned the UN's inaction. Moreover, various international human rights organizations have documented reports of human rights violations in these regions. These violations include restrictions on freedom of expression, arbitrary detentions and arrests, extrajudicial killings, censorship and media restrictions as well as discrimination against minorities. There have also been reports of land confiscation and displacement of local communities in Gilgit Baltistan, often linked to development projects and infrastructure initiatives in the name of CPEC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. I'm here in the Human Rights Council session of the United Nations because of the ways of question our voice against the Pakistani occupation. Pakistani, Pakistan grabbing the resources of the state of Jammu Kashmir, which is occupied by Pakistan. 
generally called AJK and uh, Gilgit Baltistan. And I am here to represent our people against the occupation of Pakistan, looting and killing of our people, our norms, our history, everything is dismantled by the Pakistani regime and Pakistani occupation. I am here to represent the our people, they are suffering by the Pakistani auto cities. Despite the promises made by the Pakistani administration, the people of POK continue to be denied the freedom they rightfully deserve. The administration labels them as anti-Pakistan and anti-Islam, further marginalizing their voices. The people of POK yearn for the opportunity to improve their economic condition and reclaim what truly belongs to them. The plight of the people in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir cannot be ignored any longer. The ongoing protests and demands for justice emphasize the urgent need to address the atrocities committed against the people of POK. The international community must unite to support their quest for human rights and a better future, ensuring their voices are heard and injustice is stopped.